Now let's talk about how to fill in a missing operation in an addition and subtraction problem. Since it's an addition and subtraction problem, we know that our two options to fill in that blank would be a plus sign or a minus sign. But how do we figure out which one goes there? Here we have 232 blank 31 plus 378 equals 579. Now, since we already have a full operation here, we know that whatever this number is, when we do 232 plus or minus 31, we're going to add to that 378 to get 579. This means that we can get rid of our 378 to simplify our problem a little bit. To do this, we're going to subtract 378 from each side. That means that on this side, our 378s will cancel out. And on this side, we have 579 minus 378 which gives us 201. Now, 201 equals 232, some operation, 31. Would you add 31 to 232 to get 201, or would you subtract? If we added 232 plus 31, we would have a number higher than 201. But if we put in a subtraction sign instead, we have 232 minus 31, which equals 201. This is a true statement, so we know that the sign we're going to put in to fill our blank is going to be a subtraction sign.